what if Earth wasn't a perfectly round spinning marble in space? What if it looked more like a cube, a donut, or even a giant slice of pizza? Imagine you wake up tomorrow and the horizon's no longer a gentle curve. It's a sharp, straight line and the sun rises over a crispy crust. Well, congratulations, you're now living on Pizza Slice Earth. In this universe, our planet is a colossal triangular wedge, stretched out like a cosmic pizza slice. The crust is a thick, rugged edge of towering highlands, and the tip of the slice is a dense, gooey core of superheated rock and, well, cheesy hot magma. Gravity on Pizza Slice Earth is a nightmare. Instead of pulling you toward a single point, it drags everything toward the thick, dense tip of the slice. The closer you live to the tip, the heavier you feel. This means all the oceans and rivers would drain inward, flooding the tip of the slice and leaving the crust as a barren, dry wasteland. If you live there, you're basically a survivalist living on the highest, driest land on the planet, with nothing but a few scorpions and a lot of sand for company. Life would cling to the topping zone that sweet spot just outside the watery tip where gravity is bearable and the atmosphere isn't a violent, stormy mess. The weather would be extreme, with hurricane-force winds constantly whipping toward the tip and a thin, frigid atmosphere at the crust. Forget global travel, a flight from the coast to the tip would feel like descending into the eye of a perpetual superstorm. But hey, at least you'd never have to worry about running out of room. Next up, let's talk about a shape we all know and love, the humble cube. Imagine living on cube Earth. You'd have six distinct faces, each with its own climate and ecosystem, separated by towering, impassable mountain ranges. Gravity would be strongest at the center of each face. The closer you get to an edge, the weaker gravity becomes. So all the oceans would pool at the center of each face, creating six isolated spherical seas. The corners? they'd be barren, airless, and completely lifeless. Civilization would be confined to these six central oases. Each face would develop its own isolated culture. One could be a vast frozen tundra, another a scorched desert, a third a humid jungle, and travel between them? Impossible. You'd be trapped on your face, staring across an abyss toward the next one never able to cross you're basically living on six different little planets that happen to be stuck together. This next one is straight out of a Jim Bros fantasy, Dumbbell Earth. This bizarre planet is made of two separate livable lobes connected by a thin, unstable bridge. The good news? The outer lobes would be relatively normal, with gravity and climate similar to Earth's. The bad news? The bridge connecting them would have incredibly weak gravity, a violent atmosphere, and constant volcanic activity. This planet would be on the verge of tearing itself apart at any second. If you lived on one of the lobes, you'd likely never know what or who lived on the other. Ever wondered what it would feel like to live on a planet with a hole in the middle? Welcome to Donut Earth, also known as Taurus. This is where things get truly wild. The gravity would change everywhere you go. At the equator, gravity would be a ridiculous 0.03 g, less than on Mars. You'd practically feel weightless. But at the poles, it would spike to a jarring 0.65 g. And the moon? Its orbit would be completely unstable. It would either bob erratically in the hole or loop around in a chaotic figure eight. Tidal forces would be insane, causing massive floods and destroying coastlines. And to top it all off, you'd have hurricanes forming everywhere all the time. It might be survivable, but it would be a chaotic, miserable existence. Guess you better learn to ride the waves because you're stuck with them. What about something a little more subtle? Ellipsoid Earth, an egg-shaped planet. It's mostly survivable, but with some quirks. Gravity would be stronger on the narrow ends, the poles, and weaker on the wider sides, the equator. This would make the poles colder and harsher than today, with a more compressed atmosphere. The equator, however, would be a milder, more tropical belt. Mostly, it would just be a slightly lopsided version of the world we know. Now, before we continue, let me tell you about a tool that's been my secret weapon for exploring these complex scenarios, Shortform. Shortform has been invaluable to me. 
it creates incredibly detailed guides to nonfiction books that go way beyond a basic summary. It's like getting a top secret briefing on a scientific text. You get the key concepts at a deep level, plus smart analysis that connects ideas from different authors. Whether you're exploring astrophysics to understand gravity, diving into geology to understand planetary cores, or understanding the orbital mechanics that determine a moon's path, Shortform breaks down these complex topics into digestible intelligence. What's really cool is how fast you can get new information. Shortform publishes new book guides, article summaries, and podcast summaries every week. Plus, their new AI browser extension can summarize any online articles or videos with just one click. So when I'm digging into something specific like the gravitational dynamics of a torus or the geological makeup of a cubical planet, Shortform provides the crucial information I need. If you want to check out all those books you've been meaning to read and get smart summaries of anything online, you can get a free trial plus three months free by signing up for the annual subscription at shortform.com slash stay curious. That's three months completely free when you use my link. Now let's address the elephant in the room. What if the Earth was flat? Forget the conspiracies, let's talk about the science. A flat planet is simply impossible. There's no way to maintain gravity across a flat disk. Air pressure would be a nightmare. The center would have crushing air weight, while the edges would have almost no oxygen. You'd either suffocate or be crushed, and there's no in-between. Plus, without a molten core, there would be no magnetic field to protect us from deadly solar radiation. The atmosphere would be stripped away into space, and we'd all be fried. So, yeah, guess you can cross this one off the list. So what have we learned? That most of these alternate shapes are either chaotic, deadly, or straight up impossible. Gravity, atmosphere, and livable conditions are a delicate balancing act. Our spherical Earth is perfectly shaped to maintain all of these factors, allowing oceans to stay put, air to circulate evenly, and a magnetic field to protect us. It's nature's best design. Maybe Earth doesn't need to be a pizza or a cube. Maybe the perfect shape is the one we already live on. And maybe in the end, it's not the shape of the world that matters, but how we choose to live on it.